every Saturday night here at Hales. Moosebach gets a jump on Weir. Heaney goes third in car number two, but now being pressured by 44, Walthall. Heaney looks inside of Weir as Weir drifts high in the corner. Heaney gets a tap on the rear bumper from Walfo as Heaney will advance to the number two spot in car two. Weir comes right back after him as he tries to work inside of Heaney. All the while, Moosebox getting away from the battling duo that becomes a trio with the presence of number 44, Bobby Walfo. Walfo now works inside a weir and puts him back to fourth. As Walfo's on the move, he sets sail for Heaney's number two. Very smoothly out in front of the event is Danny Moosebach in car 13. Heaney using the outer cushion of the speedway now closes in to some degree on 13 Moosebach, your race leader. starting inside the last row, already advancing to the number five spot and has his sights set on Mike Weir's number 47. Once again, Bobby Walfo mounts a challenge to Heaney. In fact, Walfo will go to the number two spot as Moosebach makes a miscue. Two cars, Mech and Sones, get together up in corner number three, and it's probably going to produce a yellow flag situation. Sones refires his automobile, but there's parts hanging down from the underside of Lee Sones' machine. I'm sure it's going to necessitate a lift truck. All there. Set the go green at the halfway point. Moosebach with cars on each side. Heaney works to the top. Waffles under him. The sparks fly. They straighten out. Here comes teaching up the outer groove of the speedway. A real barn burner shaping up. Here's Teach and goes to the top, battling with Moosebach for second. Heaney continues to set the pace, but Moosebach now getting a handle on the number 13 car. Battles with number one, Teach and for second. Heaney continuing to run high on the speedway. Moosebach thwarting Teach and's attempts as the laps wind down. Moosebach slowly but surely catching Heaney who's running in the outer groove. Heaney gets a jump exiting the corner only to have Moosebach close in as they head down in the corner number three. Two laps to go. Heaney still sets the pace but now Teaching gets into Heaney big time slowing Heaney. Heaney's automobile slowed, possibly Pat having a mechanical problem, and now it's the youngster versus the veteran as Moosebach on the inner groove of the speedway and teach it on the outside new battle, only to see the event go yellow as Pat Heaney's automobile did in fail, fact fail on the back chute. So one of the most competitive sportsman heat race events of the season comes to a halt with an uh, obvious mechanical problem in Pat Heaney's number two. Pat has been plagued all season long with differential and axle problems. I wouldn't doubt once again Heaney's automobile let down in that department. Pat Heaney's car back to the pits after putting on an outstanding ride in his battle with Danny Moosebach, Al Teachin, and several others. So 